What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition. Good morning. We got, what's the temp today? No, let me go to that. 31. <clears throat> Rocking 31. It was 24 when I woke up at 4 in the morning. Layer up, you're going to be fine. I got the snowboarding layers on. I'm good to go. Uh, making this video today, another day in the life. Uh, we got some snow coming on Thursday. We're supposed to get like a foot uh, here in Massachusetts, depending on where you are, six to 12 inches, they said. I'm sure we'll get more. These guys are always wrong. Uh, that being said, I woke up this morning to a bunch of people that we're supposed to do on Thursday. They, some of them want us to do it today. Some of us want to do it tomorrow. So we might, you know, not be working Thursday. I don't know what's happening. Um, so uh, today, this morning, we're going to do a full truck uh, clean out of a garage for a new realtor we haven't done business with yet. Um, she found us online, referenced us with a couple of her friends after looking at our reviews. Uh, her, a couple of her friends at a different realty firm have used us before as well as her neighbor um, over in Wellesley. So she's excited to meet her. Uh, she's excited to meet us. I'm very excited to meet her because I know I can drum up a bunch of business from her. Um, we're going to Holliston, a town we don't often service, um, and I'm gonna kind of use her to um, tap into uh, that area over there. So we'll fill up that truck, dump it. Uh, there's another um, full truck clean out over in Lincoln, Mass, um, which is a little bit further than I like to go on a typical day, um, but you know, it is what it is. The business is there. This is for a contractor um, that gives us a bunch of work. Uh, he contacted me at like four in the morning uh, yesterday. He said, hey, you know, I got a bunch of stuff out there. We just finished the job. I need it gone by Wednesday. Can you do it? I said, no problem. I'll fit you in Tuesday, Wednesday. I'll shoot you a text on the way there. Shoot you a text when we're done. Send you some pictures and the invoice. And they love that. They never have to see us. Um, they can do their own thing. They know they're getting taken care of. They're not getting screwed. Um, we'll pull a full load from there. All that stuff is staged outside, I believe, insulation and wood. Um, and we'll dump that. And then we're going to do a garage clean out in Millis uh, for a woman who called me freaking out yesterday uh, because she thought the snow was coming today. Um, she got Tuesday and Thursday mixed up and she was freaking out asking if we could come. Can we come? Can we come? Um, I was listen, I was like, listen, Monday, we're completely booked. Um, and, and to make things worse, our transfer station's closed. So we had the trailer filled up. We had the dump, uh, dump truck filled up. Uh, so we have to dump the dump truck this morning, dump the trailer at some point today, hopefully, or some point tomorrow if we have uh, time. We'll have time tomorrow, I know that, but I'd like to dump that before it snows. Um, so we'll take care of that woman in Millis. Uh, should be a half truck, three quarters of a truck, um, based on her pictures. Again, pictures are misleading. Could be a quarter of a truck, I don't know, a quarter at half. Um, we'll fill that up, then we'll shoot back to Needham, which is the town our transfer station's in. Um, we're gonna do a front yard clean out, I guess I would call it. Uh, these people just threw a bunch of crap out on their front yard. Tarped it, which is great, because uh, we've been getting some rain, and she said, you know, come before the snow. Uh, so I'm gonna finish gassing up here, head to the shop, we'll dump the truck, head over to Holliston, and we'll take it from there. guys we are at job numero uno over in Holliston so we got all this stuff racks are staying everything here All right guys, so we got a little more space in that truck there. And this is what we cleared out. We have to come back for more. So they want 
Those two large pieces there gone. The refrigerator's gone. This refrigerator gone. Those cabinets gone. Um, and a bunch of other little crap. Uh, so, like I said, we filled up this bad boy. Um, hit the dump. Probably come back at some point uh, this week or next week. Uh, take it from there. So let's head to the dump and we'll uh, see how much this bad boy weighed. All right, guys, we are at the dump. While Connor's undoing the bungees, I'm gonna type in the next destination. 32 minutes. All right, I'm gonna roll this thing up. Yeah, we might as well toss it in the truck. We could probably just hop up there. Everything's in the corner there. Always keep a tie down. This metal? Ah, uh, yeah. Take the computers over to the computers. Anything else in there? No. We're hitting the scale now. Eleven thousand eighty. And there we have it. She has been dumped. Let's see how much this baby costs. Us. All right, guys. Dump was 1260. The total weight was 1260. Take this friggin' mask off. Total weight was 1260. Um, cost us 82 bucks to dump it. Gonna rip a piss real quick and get back at it. See you in Lincoln. Must be. I'm gonna assume I need to back down there. Stack nice. Got a lot of sculptures. Hell yeah. Nice and easy. Oh, all right. This is what we got. We got a shitter. Bunch of insulation, bunch of insulation. Wow, it's a lot of bags of insulation. Couple storm doors. They're light, but take up some space. <sighs> um, all right, cool. So we're gonna end up, uh, we're gonna put this wood in first and keep the metal for last so it's easy to offload. But we're gonna put that wood in first um, so that it's flat. It'll basically take up no space and then we'll fire all the insulation on top. Might have to use that, take a poop. And uh, yeah, so follow along.
<laughs> All right, we got a full one on us today. Sky high. Yeah, so let's actually put the um, let's put all of our shit in here and then we'll leave these on the back so we can kick them off right in the metal pile. So let me just check time on this. He said it was about 40 bags. Um, I don't know uh, what the hell. Look at this thing. What is this? Bear? Carved bear? Dude, this thing's gonna pop out and kill me. Never know what you're gonna find in the sticks. Uh, he said there was like 40 bags. There's definitely more. I'm gonna have to recount them. You can see this thing's nice and top heavy right there. Um, so time-wise, I just want to let you know how long that took. We've been here for 15 minutes. So a full truckload, 15 minutes. We're gonna hit the dump. I'll let you know how much this weighs. Fucking timber. All right, guys, leaving the dump now. That one was 106. It cost us total weight was 1,520. I thought it was gonna be a little more than that. Um, so we're adding a job in here. A buddy of mine had hit me up and he wants some stuff removed before the snow. It's all outside, all carpet that he had ripped up. Um, so we're gonna squeeze this in real quick, grab this, hit the dump, and then uh, finish up the day with that garage clean out and the front yard clearing. So uh, follow us along. All right, the unveiling of the front yard clean out. What do you think it is? Might be a couple bodies. Frozen? Oh. Little dusty old sofa. Little dusty old sofa. All right, let's pop these doors open. So we just did that job for my buddy. Um, we did not film it because we were reminiscing while we were there. I haven't seen him in a grip, um, but I can show you in here is mattresses and a bunch of a uh, bunch of carpet. Let's see if I can hop up on the truck here. Bunch of carpet in the in the carpet pad as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna repack that a little bit. Ah, this friggin' mask keeps going in my eyes. Beard. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna repack this thing a little bit and uh, take it from there. There she is. One and fucking done, kid. So we're gonna fold up this tarp for her collect our check and hit the dump. See how much this bad boy weighs. All right, boys, we are on a roll today. We are gonna finish up early, which is nice, because I thought we were gonna finish up late, and we squeezed in a job. So, <clears throat> that load with the, what was it? My buddy with the carpet and the mattresses. Um, and the carpet padding that and the couch and the other crap we grabbed under that tarp that all came in at 61 bucks um, I already I already put the slip away. I don't know what it weighed, but it was uh, 61 bucks. So cheap um, Not too bad. 
So we're gonna finish up with this uh, garage clean out over in Millis, and then um, we're actually gonna do one more small job. A, a customer of mine has a table that got delivered and it's too heavy, so we're gonna help them move it in. Um, charge them a hundred bucks to do it. Should take us like 15, 20 minutes to do tops, um, unless you know she has us you know rearrange her entire house, which could very <laughs> well happen. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll see what's going on with this garage in Millis, and we'll take it from there. Nice and open up here. A lot of land. This is right here, I think. Numero uno. Alright. She's gonna have to. Lexus is gonna have to go. Unless it's in a different bay. But we're not gonna be able to back up to this. I'm just gonna pull here and we're gonna have to call her. Say listen. Alright, so we are pulling up to the next job. It is not the final job because I'll explain it later, but we're now we're going to get a fridge, and then we're going to do the uh, moving of the table. Um, yeah, I'll explain how that all got fucked up later on. So we're going to pull in here. She's got the garage open for us already. Huh, sitting for right us. There. Sitting for us. So we actually removed the chicken coop from this house when these two moved in. Um, and now we're going to take a refrigerator from them that the old homeowner left, which is a classic case. Great business for us. New homeowner comes in, old homeowner left all, old, old homeowner left all their crap, and it's ours for the taking, plus the fee. So we're just going to snag this bad boy, plop it in the truck, and we'll be good to go. In the booze fridge. All right. Nice. And we're off. Alright guys, we have finished up the day. We are at the dump. Ah, there we go. So this will actually be a good little tutorial video. I think it should be, yeah, right there. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Um, good tutorial video to follow along with the tools video. I said you're gonna need a crowbar take off the doors of the fridge so yeah give her a yank Just let it fall yeah let it fall nice nice and easy all right hang on to this thing it's a little tutorial how to get these doors off
All right, guys, the day is done. It is 4.10, started at 7, so a nine hour day. I just calculated up all the dump slips, came out to 282 in dump fees today. Um, I was going to calculate the mileage that we traveled um, all day, but I have a bunch of other stuff I need to do and I don't really want to do that. Um, but we used about a half tank, uh, sorry, quarter tank of gas um, in the dump truck all day. Um, hit the dump four times. Uh, so 282 or whatever that number was, uh, was the dump fees. Uh, we made a little over 2,500 today. So let's do this quick. 2,500 minus, let's just say 280 equals 2,220 after dump fees. And let's say my expenses per day are 600 bucks, which is, you know, I mean, it could be, it's not, it's high, but, you know, rather be high than low. So after my daily expenses, which are fuel, uh, advertising, um, truck payments, insurance, all that stuff. You can add that up for whatever you pay yearly and just divide it down to the day. So let's say it was 600. Um, so my profit today would be 1620 um, after all, all, all expenses, which is pretty friggin' good. Today was super easy. Um, we had a little hiccup uh, at, <laughs> So that house that we we were supposed to go like move a table, which we just finished, but so the mix up with this refrigerator was both of these people lived in Wellesley. The woman who needed us to move a table into her house and the woman that had the refrigerator. So I told the woman we were moving the table for to shoot me her address in a text. She didn't do that immediately. So after we did the garage clean out in Millis, we're driving down the road, I get the text for the address and I'm thinking we're going to move a table. So I shot her a text back. I was like, yeah, we'll be by in 20 minutes. Type the address in and we get to the house and I'm like, this is not this woman's house because we've been there before. So I look at it and I'm like, oh, this is the lady we removed the chicken coop from. So I go back into my text and a month ago she had asked me to remove a refrigerator and I, we were talking about the minimum cost and all that. So we just wound up taking a fridge and you know made a little extra money that way, um, which is nice. So we ended up doing what was it, four, six jobs today, I think. Um, so 1,600 bucks profit is solid. Like I said, a little over 2,500 um, in sales, uh, four o'clock, 410, 415, whatever. Uh, so nine hour day, um, and it's easy. So, I mean, this would not be able to, we wouldn't been able to do this on this upcoming Thursday with all the snow that we're gonna get. Um, but yeah, so that's a day in the life, my friends. A day in the life of a lug nut. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button. Um, as always, put your social media into the comments if you are a business owner or operator so we can go and like your Facebook page and follow you on Instagram. Um, get you some likes that way, try and get the, you know, the word out, the more likes, the more yada yada, you know, all that works. Um, so I'm going to bundle up the rest of this uh, truck. Oh, Connor took everything out, so we're good. I gotta close up the shop, uh, get some stuff ready for the morning, and go and give a couple quotes. Day in the life. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.